You're learning to code, and Windows Notepad is not going to cut it. Let's get Notepad++. Here on Google, I'm going to search up Notepad++, and I'm going to click on the first download link. Here you're going to find a list of all the available versions, with the newest one being on the very top. Notepad++ has options for 64-bit, 32-bit, and ARM, which is mostly for Mac systems. I'm going to download the 64-bit installer. Once done, I'm going to open it up in File Explorer and let's set it up. For most of these options, we could hit Next. Let's create a shortcut for our desktop. And once this is finished, it's going to open up Notepad right away. Notepad++ automatically creates and displays a log file. And it looks cool, but we're going to get rid of it because we want to make our own HTML file. You guessed it. You can't do a Notepad++ tutorial without a HTML file. Let's create a simple HTML file with a head tag with a title in it and then a body with a simple header in it. Awesome, let's save it. To save it, we wanna go up to File, hit Save As, and here's the crucial part, is you can name your file whatever you want. Try not to have spaces in your file name. You can use underscore. And at the end of your file name, I want you to type in .html. And this is the difference between a text file and a HTML file. Sweet! So now when we open our documents in our file explorer, we can now see CoolBeans is there. And when we double click on this, it opens up our HTML file in our default browser, which is pretty awesome. Okay, okay, now that we've graduated to Notepad++, let's show some love to Notepad. Use it once in a while, you know, like the cool kids. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is how to download Notepad++. See you guys.